Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, and this is a video in which I show you what motor vlogging setup that I started. Um, first of all, I am using a stud shifter helmet, and it is with the green <coughs> black variant. So this is the studs shifter helmet. So this is the helmet which I started motor logging with, and I am planning to buy a new one for. And I am planning to buy a new one just for touring because it doesn't have the chin strap. Not have the chin strap over here, the chin curtain. Uh, now I like to tell you that because I tour, I use this now. This is a motorcycle Bluetooth intercom. So what this basically does is connects to your phone, and you can play music through this into your helmet. Now I don't recommend people listening to music while riding. But this uh, BTS2, the helmet I got it for around two thousand rupees. This is for around two thousand five hundred rupees. Okay, so how I mounted it is I, I have run the wire. I have run the wire through. I have run the wire behind here. One speaker is over here, and one speaker is on this side. And uh, this comes also with a clip mount, which is which will screw the clips on either sides and attach it permanently. But I chose because I live in Mumbai and sometimes I have to lock my helmet on the bike and all. So I chose to use the Velcro mount. Now, best part, best mounting position for this for me was right where the two curves meet. So this is one curve of the helmet. Let me just focus over here. So as you can see, this is the first curve of the helmet and this is the second curve of the helmet. So these curves generally. Join here. They, they, they are made in such a way that this has most the, the this has the area which is flat, which is basically less curved. So that gave me a great mounting position for my intercom, and there it goes. I just mount it. There it goes. I just mount it like that, and it's good to go. So and. If you want, I, I'll put the links to the intercom in the description below. If you want to buy this one, remember this one comes with a different kind of uh, USB adapter and charger as well. If you want me to make a separate video about this intercom, please do let me know in the comment section below. Okay, now let's talk about recording videos. Uh, uh, recording videos. Was you know I bought this helmet because it it was a full face helmet and it was cheap and it was in a budget. This also helmet also come with a drop down sun visor. So yeah, main reason was because it comes with sun visor and I had a half face helmet before this, so that's why. Uh, I had difficulties figuring out where to mount it because as you can see the. Uh, this is a triangle, and this cannot be removed. What I did was I started with the side chin mount. This is this is the side chin mount, and this mount used to. I had taken a picture of this helmet when only this mount was there. If I have the picture, I will upload it. If I don't, then my bad luck too. Two extends, two long arm and two short arm. I think one uh, 90 degree and two long and two short arm extensions, which used to bring the bring the camera up till here or a little bit below this. Now, one reason why I wanted it till my nose pad or till here is because I wanted to see uh, the position of the camera when I'm on the bike because. If I start recording without seeing and the footage ends up taking more of the road, that has happened with me, and I wanted to avoid it. So that is why when I modified the mount, I made I made sure the camera is over here and made sure every time I you know kind of checked uh, where the camera is looking. So uh, after that, I like recently I ordered for extra 3M tape when I bought the GitHub Get2 camera. The GitHub Get2 I have bought from AliExpress. 
uh, and it is it, its performance is very good i'll put the link to the amazon and the aliexpress i'll put links to all everything which i can okay so this is uh, the github git2 camera uh, i i i ordered an extra gopro hero 3 plus black um, black casing because it looks cool okay and for extra 3m tape if you can see i have put extra 3m tape over here so to fill these gaps i had to put extra 3m tape into these gaps okay what i did i just ordered for extra clips extra mounts and of obviously the extra mounts came with the github git and i had one advantage so i had one advantage uh, if you can see here this mount is already there like the side chin side chin bar mount or whatever you call it this mount was already there this is for 235 bucks and this is for like 300 bucks so 550 bucks my mic setup is done and this is gold plated so i run the mic around the same way i ran the mic and the speakers for this thing around here and i attach my the adapter here and the input on the side so in this way i have stuck the input so in this way i have stuck the input the um the 3.5 mm jack to the old <coughs> old curve mount to the old curve mount so that it doesn't it does it's not dangling when i'm recording so you know it doesn't get stuck with anything or something you know just uh, doesn't bump into it so, even if you don't have the, you it's not necessary to you know go with this you can go with this if you have extra 3m tape i didn't think about it that at that time so i just applied it over here and it worked out fine for me so this is my basic setup now i will just show you how have i um like the placements of the mic inside the helmet so if you can see there is one uh, mic this is the mic for the um for the action camera this mic is for my action camera and this mic is for the <coughs> bluetooth intercom so that is how i have set up both my mics inside my helmet and the setup is worked um it is working for me chin curtain maybe i will be requiring please feel free to comment down in the in the comment section below and do subscribe to my channel ciao